Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that was planned for Jurassic World. Early on in development for the fourth film in the franchise, Colin Trevorrow went over a lot of different ideas for attractions that were going to be incorporated into the open park. In the final film, we get to see things like the Cretaceous Cruise, the Mosasaurus Feeding Show, and even the Lost World-inspired T-Rex Kingdom. Needless to say, this up-and-running park had quite a lot of different things for visitors to do during their stay on Isla Nublar. However, not all of the initial plans actually got included in the finished product. One of the discarded ideas that was storyboarded for Jurassic World by artist Dave Lowry was an attraction known as the Plesiosaur Pond. This very different experience would have involved park guests getting inside of a small submarine that was connected to the park's extensive monorail. Underneath the water, visitors would have the opportunity to get up close and personal with a few hunting plesiosaurs and even a small group of ichthyosaurs that were being kept in the same exhibit. The sub even came with the unique ability to eject a small dose of fish into the water so they could bait the animals into coming closer to the park guests. The idea was basically for visitors to get the chance to see the animals eat and hunt as close as humanly possible, which sounds like a pretty cool idea. Unfortunately, the idea would be shelved in favor of other attractions that were a bit grander in the long run. Dave Lowry's storyboards detail the attraction being a part of an early Jurassic World montage that was going to have us view each individual exhibit once we got to the island. Other ideas like the Packy Arena and an aviary tour were also discarded once they chose to not go ahead with this opening montage. Interestingly, there still happens to be some remnants of the Plesiosaur Pond in the final version of the website and film itself. If we check out the holoscape that was kept inside of the Jurassic World Innovation Center, we can see a variety of different species recorded for visitors to observe. And yes, one of those species happens to be a Plesiosaurus. I wouldn't call this cold hard proof that states that the theme park factually has these animals being kept somewhere on site, but I will say that their inclusion in this educational section of Jurassic World still makes the cancelled pond idea and the incorporation of the reptiles as a whole very interesting. Oddly enough, Ichthyosaurus isn't included here, despite making an appearance with the Plessies in the storyboards, which makes me wonder whether or not they were cut from the film before the Plesiosaurus was. Not too much information for me to really speculate on that matter, but personally, I've always wanted to see the Plesiosaurus make an appearance in a Jurassic movie for a very long time now. In fact, after Jurassic Park 3 had come and gone, I had thought that the next film in the series would have focused more on aquatic animals in a large deep blue sea style research lab that was kept underwater. Kind of like what we eventually got to see in Telltale's Jurassic Park the game. I guess after seeing flying reptiles, my mind immediately jumped to seeing aquatic ones in the early 2000s. Looking back, Dino Crisis 2 probably didn't help me get rid of that idea. Now, the artist who worked on these storyboards, Dave Lowry, happens to be someone who's had a long-standing relationship with the franchise as a whole. He's worked on Jurassic Park, Lost World, JP3, and Jurassic World, drawing up action scenes and park ideas since the film series' inception. And each sequel happens to have a habit of revisiting old ideas that didn't make it to the big screen during production. So who knows, maybe in the future, we will get to see the plesiosaurus put in a Jurassic movie. But for now, the closest thing we have are these old storyboards from the fourth chapter in the saga. With all of that being said, I'd love to know what all of you guys think about this cut attraction from Jurassic World. Do you think the opening montage where we get to see all of the dinosaurs do their thing in a fully functional theme park sounds like a cool idea? Or do you think it would have been the movie blowing its load a little too early? Also, would you like to see a plesiosaurus or an ichthyosaurus in a future Jurassic movie? I know I personally would. Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you continue to watch my videos, and I never want any of you to forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.